What's going on YouTube? Back at it again. Um, so I have a 2011 Volkswagen CC. I've had the car since 2013. Uh, I think when I got the car, I had about 24,000 miles or so. Uh, it's now 2017 and I have about 85,000 miles. Keep in mind that this car drove from Miami to San Diego, so it's been on the highway quite a bit. Um, car's been pretty good for the most part, no major issues. I did have to replace the fuel pump uh, a year and a half ago, left me stranded, um, but I replaced that myself. I had a video for that and I have no idea what I did with it. So I replaced the fuel pump. I've had some, some light issues, electrical issues, um, that I had to deal with with simple light bulbs burning out, but it seems to be like the same ones over and over. So that's kind of annoying. Now I have a, uh, a light a uh, warning light for a front cornering light defective. I need to figure out which one that is and how to change that. Reason for this video, I drove my car last week. I don't really drive it much since uh, since I've been back. I've been away for a while, but uh, I drove my car, woke up the next morning, took it for a drive again, and made it to the store, only to find... I'll show you. So my check engine light. So the, the cornering light, Corning light front left defective. I know about that. No issues. Check engine light came on. Uh, it never came on before. So, and I, I didn't have, haven't really drove it since it came on. So what I did was I went on Amazon, went online, did some research, purchased a uh, Wizzy Rune. I'm, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. If it, oops, if that's how you say it or what. But uh, so OBD2 tester to use with my iPhone. It is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Um, and Mac compatible because I have an iPhone. Make sure you pay attention to that because I have one specifically for Android. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Uh, I haven't connected it yet, so I don't know what to expect. I downloaded the app. So keep in mind, if you purchase this particular uh, OBD2 tester, you have to download an app. I'm sure with all of them, if you're using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you're gonna have to download an app. Um, and chances are that app is not going to be free. I did have to pay $10 for that app. So just to keep keep that in mind, if you pay this, this was, I think, around 16 or 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, I have Amazon Prime, so I got it in two days. But uh, 16 or 20 bucks for this, plus the $10 for the, uh, the interface, which is going to be an app. So let me go ahead and connect this, and then we'll run through that. Okay, so if you have a Volkswagen CC or probably, I'm sure a Jetta as well, or maybe a Passat, uh, the location is going to be under the driver's side uh, dash, all right? You, if you look up there, you will see um, a place for a connector. It's not covered. It should be open. That is where you're going to connect it. So I have a red light now. I'm going to go ahead and read through the instructions and, uh, and get started on that. Uh, settings. Let's go to Wi-Fi. I should find a Wi-Fi OBD2. So Wi-Fi OBD2. So once it connects fully, so it's connected, I got the check mark. And so I'll hit dash command. Okay, uh, so I had to run through this because I, I didn't understand that these directions are lacking a little bit. So what I did was um, I, didn't start the car but I put the key to turn the ignition on to turn the car on but I didn't start the car so don't start the car uh, on your dashboard for your dash command you're just gonna hit it says not connected it's like a push to start you just press it it's gonna tell you connected so once you get connected you can go to your diagnostics if that's what you're doing if you're trying to figure out error codes you're gonna go to your diagnostics so right away it, it loaded up engine codes one stored uh, codes found one permanent code found. Uh, readiness monitors eight complete. Um, I'll check that out. Check that out in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, engine codes. So stored codes P two one eight seven system to lean at idle bank one. Right. So that's a stored code. No pending codes found. Permanent code system to lean at idle bank one. So system to lean. What I think that is. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. So I'll do some research. But I think that's gonna be my O2 sensor, uh, which I hope it is because it's probably one of the cheapest to fix and easiest to fix. Um, but if not, then I'll, then I'll have to continue to troubleshoot and see if it's something that I can fix because I'd rather not take it in if it's something I can do myself. 
reading codes. Okay, so yeah, same thing. There you go. There's your codes. P2187, System 2 Lena, Idle Bank 1. Um, yeah, so let me let me look that up and then I'll I'll let you guys know. Thanks. Okay, so after doing a little bit of research, just a couple minutes worth of research, it looks like it's the culprit is is probably um, the PCV valve assembly that is on top of the uh, the manifold. Um, it seems to be a common problem with Volkswagen and Audi cars. Um, I'm gonna do a little more digging tonight on on the interweb to see if. Uh, if I can make, you know, for certain that it is, and then I'll go ahead and order that piece. It looks like that piece is going to range between 100 to $140, um, depending on if you get the Volkswagen or if you get a knockoff brand. I'll most likely go with the Volkswagen. Um, it seems like a very simple install, and if that's the case, then I'll go ahead and install it myself. Uh, and I'll probably record it for you guys just in case you guys have that issue as well. Uh, show you guys how you can uh, fix that if you have that problem. So, yeah, I hope that this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them for me and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to answer them for you. And uh, thanks for watching.